Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 Review. This is question 1G. Uh, we are going to graphically solve for theta. Okay, and now in this interval right here, now this is different than the other questions in this, the other parts of this question here. From negative 180 to 0. So really what we're doing here is we are just following okay, a negative half rotation. That's it. Just in the bottom here. Okay. And the equation that we're solving is 2 minus root 3 secant, secant plus 3 equals 0. Okay, but we're told to do this graphically. And that, that makes sense. There is, um, there's a bit of a, a requirement in this course that you be able to handle the calculator. Okay, so here we go. To start off with, though, uh, what we're going to do here, again, I'll try to shield the calculator here. Uh, first of all, what I want to do here is adjust my window settings. Okay, I want this to go from negative 180 whoops, 180, uh, to 0, because that's the domain that I'm working in. If I, if I use a different uh, window settings here, I might end up finding more answers than I'm supposed to. So I'm going to leave it like that. And I know we can go up by like negative 30 on our scale. It doesn't really matter. Uh, for the y, min, and max, um, now if you looked at the equation here, we're dealing with secant, okay? But, and, and, and secant has got a, a very large range here, but we set it equal to zero, we are going to be looking for the x-intercept. So as long as I see the x-axis, that's all I really need. So I'm going to make this, let's say, negative 5 out to positive 5 going up by once. Just as long as I can see the x-axis, I'm okay. So now we'll go to y equals. Okay, now i gotta, I got to take a look at the function again here. Whoops. Okay, uh, so my function here was 2 minus the square root of 3, now, I got to get out of from underneath the radical, and it's a secant, so I'm going to divide by the cosine of x. Now notice that opens up a set of brackets, so I got to close it, and then I got to close the set of brackets for the that first factor, open it again, 1 divided by the cosine of x, again close brackets to close the sine, let's say the cosine, plus 3, and then close those brackets. And now I graph it. All right. Now it's still thinking. Oh, yeah, here it comes. There it goes. Oh, I like that because I set my scale to be going by 30. So I suspect that's a negative 30. So now what I'm going to do is I'm looking for, go to my trace menu. So second to trace to get in my calc menu here. I'm looking for the zeros. Okay. So now... It, it, when, I'm, when I move this around here, notice I'm, I'm not seeing the cursor anywhere, but I do see its coordinates, okay? And it's at negative 91, so it's in the middle here, but it's way, way down. So I'm going to move it to the left, keep moving it. Oh, there it is, there it is. Now, to find, sorry, to find that particular x-intercept, I need the cursor to be the, to the left of it. So I'm going to press the left arrow a couple more times, press enter, and it puts a little triangle up top. Now, if you're dealing with an older model of, of calculator, you're not going to have that vertical line here, but the, the idea is the same. It puts a little triangle here. Now I'm going to move the cursor back, and I'm going to move it a couple of times to the, to the right. Press Enter. Now, what's got to happen is that x-intercept has to be between those two uh, triangles. So if I press Enter again, the calculator is going to think, and then I'm going to get negative 109.47 here, okay? So one of my answers here that I will write down here, whoops, one of my answers will be theta is equal to negative 109, and let's let's just say 0.5 because I'm gonna I'm gonna round that nearest tenth. Normally I wouldn't, but I'm working with the calculator, so anyway. Now we're gonna find that other one. So second trace, choose zero. Now I got to move that cursor over. Got to get it way down. It should be popping up here pretty quick. There it is. So I make sure I'm to the left of that x-intercept so that it puts a line there. Then I'm going to make sure that I move to the right of that just so that when I press enter again, again, the x-intercept is in between those two. If you don't, you will get a sign change error. Okay, and so that's that's to tell you that you, you did that wrong, that the, the calculator was looking for a zero, but there was no zero in there if, if you've set that up wrong. And now, 
Press enter to get past the guess. And there it is. Yeah, I could tell that that was 30 just by looking at it, but it's good to see that that confirms what I was expecting here. So the two answers here are negative 109.5 and negative 30 degrees. There you go. That's all you got to do.